Hey guys, this is PMR Bones ED, and today for my next horror slash movie review that I'll be talking about today is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Beginning. This beginning is actually more of a, a prequel, like where it all started, where it all began, like how did the Hewitts go all crazy and start like, you know, start killing people, and how did Thomas Hewitt became Leatherface? Well, the story actually starts out, you know, Originally, his um, biological mother, of course, um, she was um, a butcher. Like you know, she she works at some sort of a butcher store, the butcher place, um, where she does the meat, where she does all the meat and all that. Cause um, but of course she was pregnant. She was with child, which was, oh, which was um, Leatherface, or she, or AKA Thomas. This movie was like sort of a you know a had the had the same dark tone and. But a different kind of concept that a concept that I didn't really expect it. But it did have a story. It did show how Thomas Human was like born, but somehow the manager or the boss, of course, just um, threw him away like he was just a piece of garbage. That's just like completely messed up. Who would do that? Like, who would do that to an infant like that? And that's where when the Hewitts um found, finds him and just raise him. Like he was his own child. They didn't really show too much of like Thomas, aka Leatherface, growing up in different like timeline year. But it did show like pictures of him, like he had some sort of a face disease, and there were some also some pictures of him like um hiding his um his ugliness. But as he grew older, um he did start working at that meat butcher store where, and of course. It was the same boss, of course, but this um this beginning it was supposed to talk about talk about the Hewitts. I want that's what I was looking for, you know, seeing their story, their story backgrounds. I mean, they do have a little background of it, but it's the same thing. But I'm not gonna talk about the whole plot because it's the same thing, like with all the Texas Chainsaw movies, you know, a group of teenagers, and of course, guest starring Jordan Jordana Brewster. But anyways, um, they do show the uncle how he became the sheriff, or should I say, you know, the phony sheriff, all badass and all that. So at least they show that, and also how Monty loses his, um, loses his, both of his legs, of course, because um, there is one scene, however, where he got shot only by one of his legs, and of course, um, Leatherface, however, like um, the sheriff, the sheriff, of course, like um, tells him to um cut off his legs and which he did which eventually he uh, did he lost both of his legs and that's where he uses a wheelchair of course he was all weak and all that but the only two were like crazy and all massacre were Leatherface and the sheriff but mostly the sheriff because the sheriff was just some bad kind of villain massacre killer so he was the most crazy out of all the Hewitts so apparently this the beginning was I I mean it was okay for me but I I didn't really like like it as at all cuz I wanted to like you know see like more of them more than like talking like seeing their background and do less killing about it you know do less killing and instead of like doing too much too much of killing cuz that's like overdoing it but eventually at the end um Leatherface um does um wear the mask of course that's how he got the mask because originally he had that this some sort of um furry mask you know just to cover his cover his ugly face and um he made another face which um that's the actual kind of leather face he was he was wearing throughout the whole Texas Chainsaw movie and um so at the end he does win but it was all in the beginning because that's where it all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre all started because of Leatherface. He became the actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So to rate this film, I have to give it like um, I have to give it 66 out of 100 because it wasn't what I expected. If you're gonna make a Texas Chainsaw, if you're gonna make the beginning of the movie, just at least talk about it or at least show some how Leatherface became Leatherface or the hue. Or one of the Hewitt families as well. But it was an okay movie, and I do own this on DVD. So this is like a, my short 
Vampire Slash Moon review. Now I will be talking about the two movies that I've seen in theaters, which were The Tested Chainsaw 3D and Mama. So the first one I'll be talking about is Tested Chainsaw 3D. This movie, when I first saw it, it was actually... It was actually not too bad. I really liked it, and uh, I'm really glad they brought the, you know, showing the previous, which was the 1973 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, of course, and also like you know, add a little touch up, like add a little additional scenes, and I might spoil it. So if those of you seen this movie, continue on watching this review. Those of you didn't and you want to see this movie, seen this movie, then don't watch it. But if you don't. If you're not really interested or just if you want to hear the spoilers, that's fine. You keep on watching it. So anyways, um, I like this movie and they couldn't have done better with the 3D, but it was not too bad. But what really kind of bothered me was the timeline year because for some reason it went from, you know, of course, the 1973 and up to the present time. I mean, if you could tell, you could definitely see if there's a scene like where the graveyard, it will show you like the year of it, year of it, but apparently, I mean, the characters, um, the actors and the actresses, the actresses, of course, the actress, um, Alexandra, Alexandra Dandaro, she was in, she played as, um, Heather Miller, but she was also the Sawyer cut, which that was Leatherface's cousin. At that point, she would have been in her like in her late 30s or early 40s because she was born in 1973 and you're putting in this present time. You couldn't put it like in a, a different time year, like in the late 80s or early 90s, of course. I mean, that's why, because at that point, that's like ruining the film. Like you messed up the years. I mean, the movie, the rest of the movie is not that bad, but along with the 3D scenes, I mean, they couldn't have done a little better seeing a chainsaw getting closer to your face or some blood splattering, like, looks like a blood splattering or bones, like, coming out of you. That's what I was looking for, but I would say this movie's not too bad, but I liked it, and I can't wait till it comes on Blu-ray or DVD. So, to rate this movie, I have to give it, like, um, originally I was gonna give it 80 out of 100, but due to the timeline that was messed up, I had to bring it down to, I had to bring it down to 77 out of 100, but it's not too bad. It's not a bad movie at all, but I liked it, so. And the next movie that I want to talk about is also Mama. I saw this movie too, so. The movie wasn't that bad, but it wasn't a horror movie. It was much more of like, you know, a mystery and a suspense movie than than a horror movie. But And plus it was rated PG-13, which I don't like horror movies that are PG-13, unless it's for a good reason but to me when it comes on DVD or it comes on Blu-ray I hope they make an, an unrated version of it so but it was it was good I liked it but I didn't get jump too much because with the which that was the mama that like jumps out in the middle of nowhere like you see see her on the wall or see her on the ceiling or on the floor but I laughed at it. I didn't get jumped at all I just see and then I just start laughing because this mama spirit looked kind of deformed and much more like, much more like this um, movie The Unborn, just a bit with the where the grand, where the old man like twisted his arm, including his neck, like, like he was all possessed. It turned some sort of a weird demon creature looking like. That was like so cool. So, but so to rate this film, I have to give it um, seventy four out of a hundred. It was an okay movie, but it wasn't what I expected. So. It's not a horror movie at all. It's just much more of a mystery and a suspense and less of a horror film. So I didn't get a chance to talk about too much of horror slasher movie reviews. Only I did was uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and of course the movies that came in theaters, the Texas Chainsaw 3D and Mama. And if you guys want to see those movies, any of them, or don't want them, it's, it's up to you. It's your choice. So um, now I'm done with the horror slash and moon reviews and January, the month of January is almost done. So I'll be switching back to um, superhero movie reviews. And on February 7th, I'll be talking about It's Dark Man. So the next time when I do my horror slash and movie review, which will be 
the next date, of course, it will be on March March 15th, and my next horror slash movie review I'll be talking about is Hellraiser. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off. The saying is, peace.